Hello and welcome back to the spider's web. Now we're going to carry on with these three chappies. So if you remember in the last video we used Scrag Brown, Steel Legion Drab and Dark Flesh for the clothes and we mixed in Nurgling Green and Screaming Skull together for the flesh tones. Well, we're going to be carrying on, as I said, doing these. But before we start, in fact, I can make a start because what I've got to say I can do while I'm painting. Um, anyway, as I was saying, um, we had a message in the last video for the painting um, from Crasher303. And I asked if you remember about the... Um, what you'd like to see is like a tribute to Dungeons and Dragons as it's its 40th birthday this year. And Crasher303 asked, would it be possible to have a Dungeon Command um, games night? It is possible. It is very possible. It is highly likely it will be done. But there is something else I have in mind. I approached a few people at the Games Club on Friday Friday evening. This is why I'm um, a bit late in putting uh, this video together because I wanted to check, I wanted to get these sorted before I started another video so I could approach the subjects in the video as I am doing now. What we're doing Oh, what I have asked is Stephen Dutton who, and Anita McClellan who normally um, who, are, who has appeared in most if not all of the uh, Games Night videos so far I asked them would they be up for a game of proper D&D for a Games Night and you never guess what they said they said yes. Now we asked Steve if he would be okay at doing um, DMing. He said he could do it, but I remembered afterwards, after I asked him, that about 200 yards up the road, we have, or 200 yards up the road from me, I would say, there is another member of the Games Club who is a very experienced dungeon master he does his own um, games as well and I have asked him if he would like to join us this time and um, whether he would occur to do a like a beginners level 1 character um, D&D session at mine and uh, you never guess what he said. He said not a problem. Um, I just have to find another two people to play. And if I can do that, then we will have a proper, as I said, level one game, or level one hero game of D&D on the cards for one of the Games Night videos very very soon all being well I'm saying very very soon all being well I'm not certain when we'll be able to sort this out but hopefully we can get one done quite soon so watch this space um, I just as I, said, I just need to find another two players which I'm hoping won't be that difficult to be honest um, as I say it's just going to be the basic one it's not going to be um, very in depth. Um, the guy's playing the DM. He, he doesn't do much, a lot of the. Well, well, in his own words, he prefers to do the uh, fighty bit rather than going into all the um, role playing side of it. 
but as I say, it's something different. And again, it's the um, anniversary of D&D, so we might as well do something different. By the way, what I've done here, I don't know if you've noticed, I've mixed in uh, Nurgling Green again with Screaming Skull, but with a lot more Screaming Skull in this time. This is the obviously the highlight for the flesh. And just picking out some areas, dry brushing over others. And we just need to pick out the parts that are going to be, obviously, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh god, we need to pick out the parts that are going to be hit by uh, light. So, oh yeah. Okay, so I'm getting the scrag brown now, and I'm going to be mixing up some of that with the um, screaming skull to lighten it down. And then we can highlight shirts, trousers. And whatever else we did with, uh, well, it would be shirts and trousers, wouldn't it, in this? We didn't do anything else, I don't think, with... Uh, the Scrag Brown. Not in this one, anyway. Well, there's nothing really to do. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so that's... That, and a bit of water to keep it flowing. Let's, that's dark flesh. have to be careful which ones I'm doing here because I don't want to get um, don't want to get highlighting the wrong um, the wrong color as I say so. And as I say, it's just a case of pick out on the areas that you think is going to be um, picked out in the sunlight, as it were. And I'm actually trying to get to the parts where the the wash hasn't pooled. It may not be the the best way of working it out but I said these are just gaming figures they aren't show pieces so as you always say it doesn't matter as long as you like the finished product um, what anybody else says is completely material So, there we are. There's the trousers done. And now the jacket of this fella. Now we need to pick out the collar. I'm saying jacket, it's more of a shirt, isn't it? Touch more water to this because it's as though it's uh, getting just a little bit dry. I'm going to add I'm just basically just trying to dry brush down the back of the jacket it will pick up then certain areas I don't want to be 
going overboard with this. So it's, it's not for a, a competition. It's not going to be on display. It's going to have grubby mitts all over it when it's playing. So, <laughs> so whoever I'm playing the game with, if you've got dirty hands, they've had a cup of tea, they've had a, a chocolate muffin or something at the club. A bit of chocolate, you know. One of the shirts done. One of the trousers done. It's just a case now we're doing exactly the same thing with these two with the shirts and then these two I need to do these two shirts and these two trousers so let us carry on with Steel Legion Drab I still haven't nipped into town into uh, Games Workshop and bought some brought the replacement for um, Dark Flesh which was, oh I can't remember what it's called now, Bull Summit, Summit or other. I think I can't remember, it was something to do with bulls anyway. But the, uh, the actual name is on the previous um, uh, in the previous video of the colour that is now taken over from um, dark flesh so if you're interested in getting some more of that then uh, the name is there okay so we're going to carry on now with the trousers on here So I just need, as I said, to find two people now to who are free to come round. We can try and set a date. We'll try and keep it so that it's not too far off. But as I say, in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, hopefully we can get uh, can get together with Steve Dutton and we can have a go at uh, a couple of two-player games. Um, because I know full well he likes the uh, Dungeon Command ones. And on Friday evening at the Games Club I shall be making another purchase. Um, I have on order Sentinels of the Multiverse, the advanced um, set. So you can virtually guarantee that there's going to be a gameplay video series of that one of me learning how to play it um, and I'm going to shy away from certain ones because I know that um, Robert from Black Belt Gaming uh, did a playthrough of that because I've just watched it myself again um, I watched it a, few, a good few months ago and really wanted to get the game but unfortunately I couldn't get my hands on it but now Grimtree Games has got it back in stock so I've ordered it and I shall be getting it on Friday so as I say look forward to a gameplay video one shall be the Okay, so that's your Ujima foot done. Your, um, oh, what's it called? What on earth? Steel Legion Drab. That was it. Oh, my brain's not working today at all. Mind you, the funny one was a few weeks ago when I was doing a show on uh, the hospital radio station and I was going to give the number out for requests and I almost give my phone number out. That could have been funny. By funny, we actually that was annoying. Go. 
but as you notice then a little bit of the flesh was caught in the brush stroke and went onto the shirt so you really have to be you have to be careful what you're doing sometimes I'd have thought that would have dried by now under, under these lights and with the heat in this room but obviously not and this is looking quite a weird colour when you mix it in with the uh, Oh, what do you call it? Screaming skull. There we are. But never mind. It will do the job for what we need. We just need it to look a bit better than pure brown models. It's just so I don't much nicer when you play the game. And once we've done this, we'll give the jackets time to dry of the models that we've just done the jacket. The, the, oh, for crying out loud. The models that we've done of the jacket, so we'll make sure they're dry, and then when they are, we'll go back over the her. Paint that black once more and then in fact I may just use brown with some of them like a dark brownish colour there we are done with it. There we are. oxide as you know is the one I like to use for the base um, so I'll use Dryad Burke for the her as well as Abaddon Black. So I'll go over again with Abaddon Black and then we'll see how we go from the I may do some grey her, little bit one might do one grey her, one black her and one browner. Um but uh I'll just do like a I'll just go over yet again the her just so that the base colour we're working from is that black and not um, the lighter flesh colour. There we are. I was going to do a playthrough of, well not a playthrough, a quick game quick solo play a game of um, Dungeon Roll but uh, Andy from Mad Lad Designs has uh, got it as well and he's decided he would he's going to do it so I shall uh, I shall step back on that one I may include it in a uh, Games Night video series in the near future yeah. there we are so that's oops I just got over his face but just a very thin line so you can't see properly. That's no, fine. We can cope with that. There we go. Here we go. I'm 
sure about these brushes. I'm not sure about this brush, to be honest. So they're just like a nylon bristle, not nothing special. Let's also try them out. Okay, so there's our three um, three zombies with recent uh, all nicely painted. Now, um, what I will do, however, is I will get the dryer back. Once I can open it, and we'll go over belts here. Okay, I've just noticed that there is a little bit of a hurt that's jutting out on this. So what I'm going to do is once this is complete it's not going to make any difference what we're doing here but if we're going to use it for any detail work it's going to get in the way at least here all we're doing is just going over a belt it's not something that requires any detail now what we're going to do is again with the dryer back to go over this guy's hair try and make it that all the areas where the hair is will be covered in the brown we don't want any um, any black showing not on this one anyway so that's one done we'll leave another one black And then on the next one we will have we will use Dawnstone. So we'll have a brown, black and grey her. But we're not going to be going over all of the her with the grey stone. Oh sorry, Dawnstone. We're just going to, going to be going over a few areas. Right there, it's more like a not so much a dry brush, it's just um, a case of just dabbing the paint on more than anything. Um, if it films in any of the black areas, that's fine. If it doesn't, that again, that's fine. Um, as I say, it's, it's just a, a different style of her colour. Um, we'll go over again in a very short period of time with a paler grey just on the top and while we've got the dawn stone out what I'm going to do is take a bit of that and place it on the mixing palette in some when I've cleaned my brush because I've got that paint a bit high up on the ferrule and I don't want to spawn the point on this one um, get the black and we'll mix it in together just to make the black and just that touch lighter doesn't look as 
though it's going to be incredibly lighter so we'll add some more grey um, okay let's just again wash the brush make sure the bristles are nice and clean for this at parts the black fella, or the black haired fella rather, and there we are, that's all we have to it for this, it's not much of a difference it's just to highlight the black what we need now is a little bit of the administratum grey I might even mix this in with the paint that we've just mixed and just to take the um, The real brightness off the real brightness off it. And we'll go back to the guy who's got the grey hair, and just on the top of the head, we'll not up and just a little bit down the back, and just touch it with the this new colour, which isn't on that fur away from the uh, downstones so we do need to add some of the administratum grey in uh, just the pure administratum grey rather and we'll just touch up on the top there we are And there is the three zombies all but finished. The only thing you need to do now is just go over with the, uh, the paste stuff that I got from um, from eBay, from Valio. And then there's another three that can put back be put back into the box after they're vanished. Okay. And it's just as always. The paint around the edges as I do on most of my figures. Um with the with this brown colour place it down on the thing and just use it like that just to support it because it's very they're very bendable these uh, figures to watch what you're doing with them. I've found that one of the ones I've just been doing, I've left it out and something was resting on it and it's basically bent it over slightly. As you may notice one of them looks a little bit inebriated, shall we say. But, so we just get the Not too much paint on because you don't want to flood it completely. You just want to cover the base all around the edges. If you go around the edges first, I find it much easier. I'm ready to be me on the couch having a snore. I'm boring him as well. <laughs> and then once the 
once the edges are done we can place it down and do the top and if you prefer to do the top first and then do the bit then do the edge that's You know, it's, uh, it's just an alternative way of doing it. As long as it's, as long as the base gets painted, because if you don't paint it, it doesn't look right. I can't stress that enough. If you're going to do the models, you need to do the base. Even if, and I think I've mentioned this before, if you're putting sand down on a base, you've got to, and you want a sandy base, you need. To put, you need to, you need to actually paint it to look like sand, even though you're putting sand on the base, because if you don't, it just does not look right at all. And people look at me as though I've got six heads when I try and explain that one. You put sand on it, and then you paint the sand to look like sand. Why don't you just leave it? Everything else is painted. You can tell everything else is painted with sand, pure, you know, plain sand, plain unpainted sand it sticks out like a sore thumb it really really does it's surprising it just ties everything in as well if you paint the sand okay so what we've we got next time let's put these back um, and we have a few to choose from but I want to you do the uh, ones with grave weapons last so it will be We'll push those to one side. The next ones we're doing. I have those two. I want that one. Okay. So until then, take care. God bless.